Hey everybody, this is Sean here with Rugged Outdoors and my daughter and I just finished up a great camping evening um, in our Kodiak canvas tent and I probably had one of the best nights sleep in a tent I've ever had and I want to show you how. You know, so sleeping in a tent is oftentimes you don't really sleep. It's probably why most food tastes great, bad coffee tastes good, everything tastes good the next day. My brother often says, yeah, because you're just delirious from lack of sleep. So I'm going to show you what I did last night to have a great night's sleep out here camping. So as we come in, um, you know, you got to always take your shoes off and get your feet, all that. So, all right, so what we did was we picked up two cots and two sleeping pads. And obviously we have some uh, sleeping bags to go with it. But I'm going to start with the cot. So here you can see my setup. I've got this Eaton Sports sleeping bag. I've got the sleeping pad. I have Teton Sports or Teton Sports XL cot. Um, as you can see, this cot is pretty wide. Um, lots of room for larger people. Not that I'm larger, but I like to move around on my cot on my when I'm sleeping. Um, so the little skinny cots don't usually do real well for me. Um, this is the longer model. This is XL. I think it's like 80 inches long, I think. Um, I'll have more stuff information down for it in the description, but um, extremely comfortable cot. But sleeping on the cot is not just enough. I went and got Teton Sports also makes this great pad that fits this particular one model. And this pad has some great features that I uh, wanted to take a look at and show you. So the first one this opening right here, this is to put your pillow in. Because I don't know if you're like me, when you move around, the pillow moves. You just stuff your pillow inside there and then zip it up. And your pillow is not going to move while you sleep. The downside is I forgot my pillow for this trip, so I didn't use it. But anyway, um, the other thing it does is it has these loops and everything. And what these do is these go around the cot and then just loop over so a loop over like that secure those and what that does is it keeps the cot it keeps the pad from moving while you're sleeping which is another great feature that I really like um, plenty of foam extremely comfortable last night I slept extremely well but that's not all I picked up the Teton Sports sleeping bag now this is their zero degree bag. Um, it got warm last night in this sleeping bag, but it opens up pretty well. The thing that I liked, I didn't want a mummy bag for this tent camping because I don't, that's not what I want. If I'm out in the mountain climbing camping, then I'll get a mummy bag. But I like bags that allow me room to move around inside the bag. And you can see this one does. Great, lots of room, has the draft thing around your neck if you do want it, if you get super cold. But like I said, I didn't get cold at all. Um, if anything, I got warm. Plenty of room in that bag. Bag, this one fits um, on top of this cot without any issues whatsoever. Very comfortable. Again, like I mentioned last night, I probably had one of the best nights of sleep I've had in a tent in a long, long time. But now I'm gonna flip over and show you what my daughter's sleep, uh, setup looks like. Now her setup, we already had this sleeping bag. This is a Mistral 40 degree bag. Um, so we already had this one and this is what she wanted to bring. But we did the same kind of setup for her as we did for me, except for hers is smaller. This is probably what a normal person would get. Um, this is the Teton Sports Pad. Um, again, I think this is just the large one or adventure one, I think is what this one's called. And it also the same kind of cot. Now it's not as wide or as long, but in this tent it, it gets doesn't take up as much space. But the nice thing is, is she was able to sleep on it, um, and it worked really well for her. Has the same feature set um, that the other one does. You can put your pillow. She did have a pillow. This is the Teton Sports or Teton Sports pillow that they have. Um, pretty cool colors, but it just fits right inside. <laughs> there and then the pillow stays there. I mean technically I could have slept on one of these um, without much effort and been okay but I really liked um, the bigger setup for me 
being 6'2 and having more room, I like to move around. Um, my daughter, when she laid on this and slept on this, did a pretty good job uh, sleeping for her. So um, overall, that's how we got a really good night's sleep here in this tent. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, please leave a comment below. We'll be more than happy to answer all those. I answer every single comment that comes along. Um, if you have any questions or anything, if you want some more information about any of these products, feel free to check out the links below. Um, and it's a great way to help support the channel if it's something that you want to pick up. So thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're so inclined, and we look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors.